We're going to start our senior recognition with John Osmus. John's parents are Lauren and Susan Osmus. He's been at Christian Heritage for seven years. His athletic activities involved include junior high football, golf, and high school football management. His favorite football memory is long away games and rides on the Gator with out, outdoor managers. Plans after high school to attend more Norman Tech Center while working at CHA. What players said about John shows me what your job needs to be done even though you might not, rec not get recognized for it. John has shown me Christ's love through unending service to the football team to make the best Gatorade. Coach's comments, John may as well have been another coach. He is the glue that holds this program together, always working without prompting, leading the other managers well, and always has a funny but snide comment to add in. John does so much for this team without a hint of recognition. I appreciate him so much and greatly miss him next year. <laughs> Up next is number 11, Camp Bullard. Parents Josh and Janelle Bullard. He has been at Christian Heritage for 10 years. His athletic activities include football, basketball, tennis, and co-ed cheer. His favorite football memory is Jacob Noble, Noble freestyling. Plans after high school to attend Tulsa University for an education administration degree. What players said about camp is camp showed me to always have a positive attitude and determination no matter what is thrown at me. Camp has shown that determination goes a long way. But the coaches said, because I absolutely love coaching camp. Quiet, a fierce competitor, disguised by his quiet demeanor and laid back persona, a calm leader. Challenged him to cover our opponent's best receiver, and he always stepped up, fearless. Career cut short by three season ending injuries, one of my all time favorites to coach, Jim West said this, Camp, and, and then also coaches said, Camp is by far one of the best athletes I've coached. Laid back and unassuming, but a fierce competitor. He is incredibly mature and wise for someone his age. I hate the way his season went, but in the short time I've had with him, I know he will go on to do great things for the kingdom of God. Up next is Cross Looney. His parents are Carl and Jerry Looney. His number of years at CHA is seven. Athletic activities involved in, he's been involved in volleyball, basketball, and JV football announcer and football manager. His favorite football memory was when Sam almost ended someone's life. Plans after high school to do a 10 college, get a degree, and start a family. Coach's comments, Cross had an unfortunate start and end to his football career Yet he continued to come around and make all of us laugh, especially with his excellent announcing during junior high games. He has an excellent sense of humor and personality. He will be missed, said Coach Frank. Up next is number 54, Spencer Smiley. Parents are Delana Smiley and Todd Smiley. Number of years at CHA is two. Activities involved is varsity football and powerlifting. His favorite football memory is his first day of football practice at CHA. After high school, he plans to attend OU or OSU. What players said about Spencer, big brother to everyone, takes care of you and always tells you the truth, good or bad. Pushed me to work harder at linebacker so I wouldn't get pancaked by him. Coach's comment, Spencer was similar to a Swiss Army knife. He moved all over the field this year, and not once did he complain. He knew the work that needed to be done and did it. He is quiet, consistent in all that he does. Spencer is constantly teaching and raising up the guys around him. The younger guys know if they don't understand something, he is the guy to go to, and he is consistently admired. <laughs> Number 14, Jace Vineyard. Parents are Christy and Chris Vineyard and Sherry Vineyard. Number of years at CHA is two. Athletic activities include football and basketball. His favorite football memory is Jacob Noble freestyling in the locker room. You can tell him, sorry I missed that. It's come up twice. What players said about Jace, always made sure I have a good attitude, whether that be by jokes or telling me everything's good. He shows me he cares. Jace is funny, and with that talent God has given him, he's able to make others feel better. 
Coach's comments, Jace is a quiet, subtle comedian of the team. He came out of senior year to play and has bonded so well with all of the team. You may never hear him say a word, but he is always making everyone around him laugh. I appreciate his hard work and dedication this year. Let's go, Frank. Next is number 54. Number 68, Samuel Vogler. His parents are Jeremy and Cheryl Vogler, and he has been at CHA for 13 years. His athletic activities include football and baseball. His favorite football memory, he is the only senior that has made it from his freshman to his senior year at CHA playing football. Plans after high school to attend college and get a degree. What players said about Sam, Sam is a consistent teammate who leads by example. He's quiet but always knows what he's doing, so he shows me how to be serious and get stuff done. Coach has said Sam is the type of person that every coach wants to have on the team and to build a program around. He is humble, never makes excuses, and works harder than anyone on the field. He's a true example of what a crusader looks like. This is Cassia Aswar. Her parents are Trifina Wilkinson. She has spent seven years at CHA. Her athletic activities include tennis. Her favorite football member memory is hanging out on the sidelines. Plans after high school, she has no idea right now. You don't have to know yet, that's okay. Coach's comments, Cassie is always upbeat and so happy to help. I'm so thankful for her work, attitude, and consistency. And next is Cora Brown. Her parents are Jason, parents are Jason and Rebecca Brown. Number of years at CHA is two. Her athletic activities include basketball. Her favorite memory was when Coach Davis told me to stop flirting, not realizing I was talking to my brother. Her plans after high school, get a degree in electrical engineering. Her coach's comments, Cora with all certainty, may know our offensive defense better than most of the players. She showed up every day ready to work, ready to serve. Cora is the humble example of servant leadership. Cora was a joy to have out and did so much for all the boys and coaches. She will be greatly missed. I give you your football seniors. And if the cross-country seniors could line up Aaron Stanley, then Garrison Martin, then Noah Spielman. So for the cross-country seniors, if we let the football players get back in, that would be Aaron Stanley, Garrison Martin, then Noah Spielman. And please start to welcome our cross-country seniors. First, we have Erin Stanley. Her parents are Don and Julie Stanley, and she's been at CHA for 11 years. Her athletic activities include cross-country for four years, basketball for four years, and golf for two years. What teammates said about Erin, Erin teammates say she is always encouraging. Another teammate said she is quiet and leads by example. Yet another said she is a great example of ded dedication and perseverance. The coach has said Aaron is a great role model for her teammates. She is a quiet leader, a guy that directs and encourages and influences. This year she has taken her senior leadership very seriously. She loves her team and is evident she will be missed. <laughs> Up next is Garrison Martin. Garrison's parents are Dave and Molly. He's been at CHA for 13 years. His athletic activities include cross country for four years. What teammates said about is Garrison has influenced me to believe I could run harder and faster. He is always willing to lend me a ride and he was a great example of what hard work can do. Garrison's coaches said Garrison Martin is a planner and always thinks outside the box. He works hard every day, and no matter what the workout is, he is joyful. He has led her underclassmen well with joy and hard work. 
CHA cross country will not be the same without you. And finally, we have Noah Steelman. His parents are Patrick and Sarah Steelman. He's been at CHA for 13 years. Cross, his active, his athletic activities include cross country all four years, basketball, soccer, and tennis. What teammates said, Noah's teammates say is an encouraging leader. He sets the pace in every workout. We will all just try to keep up with him. Coach's comments, Noah is a leader. He has led our team by modeling hard work and grit. He always led the junior high boys to listen and be better people and to work harder and to never settle. Noah, you will truly be missed. Fans, I give you our cross country seniors. Fans, I also would like leaving at halftime because they have regionals tomorrow in Enid or our CHA cheerleading squad. Will you please give them a great hand? Let's wish them a great, great luck next year. Doors open at 9.30. The regionals will be in Enid. Girls, we know you will do a phenomenal job. And also, if I could have the golf and tennis boys and girls team come out. It, <laughs> If you had some of our great tailgate, it was served to you by the golf and tennis boys and girls teams. We have, red, red not necessarily in the order in, but they were serving us, Luke Thomas, Kelvin Kufal, Gavin Watson, Grace Lentis, Libby Penwell, Nolan Rankin, one of my favorites, David Eccles, Bella Brown, Lindsey Howe, Christian Johnson, and Macy Hall. Hey, let's give a great hand for our tennis and golf boys and girls team. Thank you very much. And fans, I would also know we have a, we have a great hardworking group of, of cooks and dads that work, that, that, work that, that tailgate for us every game. They set up the run through. They never ask for it, but can we just give them a quick round of applause?